Hi guys, this is Dr. Nada with Keys of Health. I'm here with you with another very important key of health. In this video, I would like to talk about protruded stomach that is not based on fat. So a person can be of average healthy weight, but they have a protruding, bulging belly. It is actually accumulation of fluid which causes abdominal swelling. It is called ascites. Ascites happens when pressure builds up in the veins of your liver and it doesn't work as it should. In other words, liver is severely damaged. It is usually caused by some other health condition, most commonly cirrhosis, heart or kidney failure, cancer, or an infection. Stress is also a major cause behind liver-related conditions, including this condition. This condition doesn't occur overnight. It takes years to get to this level. Unfortunately, most of the time, there are no symptoms along the way that indicate there is a problem developing. It becomes known at an advanced stage. In this video, I will share with you some of the things you can do to help treat this condition and help heal the liver. Yes, I mean it. Liver can repair itself over time. All we need to do is give it all the right nutrients and the right environment. First thing you need to do is cut down on all alcohol. Go cold turkey. No occasional or weekend drinks. It has to be stopped entirely. Second, eat a moderate amount of protein. A high protein diet in this condition is not advisable. Take anywhere between three to six ounces of protein per meal and have a variety of protein. You want to get protein from both plant and animal sources and from animal sources get it from a variety of animals like poultry, seafood and red meat but try to limit the red meat intake as much as possible. You should also have moderate amount of dietary fats. Next thing you really want to include in your diet are cruciferous vegetables. They contain large amount of phytonutrients to protect against oxidative stress. They also contain potassium, which helps maintain fluid balance. They are also great for your microbiome. The fiber in cruciferous vegetables feeds the microbes that help recycle bile. Other foods which are especially great for liver in general, and this condition in particular, are beetroot juice, Indian gooseberry, bitter gourd, prickly pear, aloe vera, and other types of cactus, grapefruit, and berries. Avoid grains, especially wheat. Instead, you can have pearl millet, red millet, quinoa, and amaranth. Avoid corn as well, especially if it is genetically modified. You also want to avoid dairy products as much as possible, so cut down on milk, creams, and cheeses. Yogurt with live culture is okay to eat, but in moderation. Include seeds in your diet like flax, pumpkin, black, and sunflower seeds. Also practice intermittent fasting since it helps drop inflammation in the body. Liver takes a while to heal, but can heal itself. If you are far gone and have a condition like cirrhosis, it will not heal in a matter of days or weeks. It will take anywhere between 18 months to three years to heal the liver. And that is if you are consistent, but it is doable. I promise you. I'm also going to share a few herbs and supplements with you that are great for liver and will help in this condition as well. First, silymarin. Silymarin is extracted from milk thistle seeds. Studies show that silymarin helps ease inflammation and promote cell repair. This helps treat liver diseases like jaundice, cirrhosis, liver cancer, and fatty liver disease. Another supplement that has shown very promising results when it comes to treating liver is glutathione. Glutathione has been shown to improve protein, enzyme, and bilirubin levels in the blood of individuals with liver disease. Another amazing herb that is so underrated is costus root. I have been telling you guys that I will do a video on costus root, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I promise that will be my next video, so please keep an eye out for it. Costus root is great for so many things from asthma to muscle spasms to ulcers to liver problems. You really don't want to miss it. Now, of course, you want to take everything under the supervision of a naturopath or an herbalist who can modify the dosage according to your needs. It is an investment in your health and you cannot do a better investment. If you work with someone like me for a year or two, after that, you can manage your health on your own. This is why I call these keys of health. 
I hand them back to you in your own hands so you can unlock the doors of wellness by yourself. This is it for this video, you guys. I hope you found it beneficial. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.